so I needed to run a few errands like I said I figured I'd bring you guys along but audio is something I'm so passionate about because you can't have video without audio and audio is so extremely important that if you don't have it right or or anything like that then it just really kills the just spirit of the video if it was something moving or important that was being said it just kind of just nixes it all the way out you can't have video without audio if your audio isn't good even like in the car like i'm always astonished with how good audio sounds but it's nothing but all plush material and so everything is just like being absorbed by the seats the carpet everything so it's kind of like ideal for audio situations minus like the air conditioner or something but yeah like i just i don't know it's meaningful you know too high much too high they're just now getting to regularly priced stuff that's sad most of the main stuff is like 25% off then they have the little stuff little dollar store trinket style and not to be like rude or whatever but dollar store trinket style stuff you know the little flimsy selfie sticks or whatever that stuff is like 50% off. Other stuff, this like actual legit lenses, um, actual legit camera stuff or whatever, then that's one thing. I saw they had the Panasonic uh, S1 and S1R in. They probably had a couple other stuff in there, but they got like 70 to 200 long range zoom stuff. You know, just like that kind of stuff. So the stuff that's like normally priced, they still aren't at Amazon prices or for some stuff they're just now barely getting to the Amazon price for what you would see it at its highest point it's so unfortunate because it's like one of those things it's like you didn't have to I don't you know it's like I don't know the dynamics of their their company or, or what they're going through when I remember I first went to that store I wanted to buy a Canon T5i it's like five or six hundred dollars on Amazon it's eight nine hundred dollars there before taxes and I just could not understand like what is your you guys' problem with your pricing 
and all of that, but whatever, I'm over it, <laughs> hopefully. But Okay, so we're talking about audio. Matter of fact, let me get one extra piece here. So I showed this on the community tab and I was talking about how this thing has completely revolutionized how I am doing video now because whereas before you did not have, or you don't in general, yeah, Canon M50 is not sold with a headphone jack. There are limitations to what you can do when you just have the one and you can buy the Y splitter and all this extra other stuff. And I have the RC6 adapter where you can use two microphones into the one jack, but they're both equally going into the audio. So I'm using a different microphone right now other than the Movo, so I'm testing that out. Uh, it's the Tagstar SK, SGC, whatever, I'll put it down below. So like a Rode Video Mic Pro has amplification audio capabilities or whatever, so it should sound, sound a little bit better. Uh, with the Movo, I usually do a little bit of audio processing, increase the, you know, the bass and stuff like that, so it's not like, I don't know, it's, it just has a little, it's a little bit deeper, richer or whatever, Tr maybe a little bit more true to how my voice actually sounds. But on this one, if you can see right here, it has a little battery door. I can put my rechargeable batteries in there. And before you know it, I have now preamped my audio source. So this is my audio interface. I don't talk much about this, but I use it for the podcast that I do with my friends. And it has like so many different things. Now this is way smaller, like you have my forearm and then I hope my elbow's not ashy. <laughs> you have my forearm and then you have this, which, you know, it's, it's really, really, small can fit into a backpack but it's still relatively large now i could use this and or even some other type of audio interface some zoom recorders which is like 99 dollars or 120 bucks depending on what's what and get plenty of controls great preamps and all the rest i don't want to carry this when i'm on a shoot but if i had to i would and so knowing that i wanted to get something that was not going to be the hassle of a recorder and all the stuff that goes with that and matching up the signals and all the stuff that I see on YouTube. And I just, I like to find stuff that suits me. This is the headphone jack in here, right there. And then you have the audio out, which is where this cable was a second ago. So what it comes down to is this. When I was doing this shoot, you sometimes get audio interferences, noises, uh, everywhere in St. Louis feels like it's near the airport or within some proximity to one uh, and you're getting a lot of interferences whether somebody's running something they had was doing some construction in the building running drills and all kinds of stuff and I don't know how the wiring is but it just like I'm hearing the noises and you audio like everything is it gets picked up even like the air conditioners probably probably getting picked up something like this to where you can monitor the audio finally it's not huge. It adds a nice amount of weight to the M50, it being a small pack. I had the microphone on one side. I was able to put a light on another side and just like completely revolutionized my setup. Now that being stated, I probably would at this point get a cage so that I could, but I don't have to if I don't want to because this is metal as well. When I plugged it in, I'm not nearing any near anything. I don't have... Uh, anything running to the camera I'm going straight off the battery so I'm not picking up any kind of interferences from the cable for the power which sometimes can happen soon as I put in my headphones I heard a buzzing noise this saved my behind because I could just simply listen and hear what's going on and whether or not there's audio not just being picked up and is the are the levels right but is there audio interference going on that I'm not aware of? I have wasted plenty of time on video, trying to record good video, finally get the, you know, your lines right or the things that you want to say. Cause I don't use a script, but I have in mind what I want to say. You say it and you get it right. And you're like, yeah, that was great. I'm, I'm excited. I accomplished whatever goal. And then you have buzzing. So like I said, not a review for real, but well, not a review at all, but just like my excitement with having this and like adding things that matter for me to be able to use what I want. Even if I had more expensive cameras, 
or more expensive camera setups. I'm not really sure what my next camera will be. That's why I was excited about cameras like the Canon R or the RP initially hearing about them that maybe they'll have this and maybe we'll see this. And even with Canon's recent announcement for their G7X Mark III still doesn't have autofocus. Yeah, it has a headphone jack, but still missing other stuff. Um, and it's just like, how do you take dual pixel auto autofocus out when you know that you didn't have, I don't know, I'm done, I'm done talking about that, but <laughs> there are certain features that they added in and it's just like, okay, these are great, straight, great strides. These are great improvements, but what's the price mark that we're looking at to get these basic things like, like a headphone jack and a audio input jack in a camera that's mirrorless, doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I don't want to spend four and $5,000 on a camera body and then spend another three, four thousand dollars, even two thousand dollars on a lens, on one lens. I could see if I'm really doing like a bunch of wildlife photography, a bunch of video shoots, not. And for what I like to do, this right here, this is, I'm just like, I've been so extremely pleased and happy with this M50, so much like, uh, it has its limitations, no camera is perfect. There are better options out there. The A6400 is a boss camera, and honestly, if Canon does not, uh, step up in some kind of way at least within this next year so that I can like by the time I'm ready to upgrade I've put enough finances to the side so that I can actually upgrade I'm hoping that there's something out there that I want to get otherwise I'm probably actually am maybe going to consider switching or maybe I'll just hold on to it and and see what happens but I'm not sure the Canon R doesn't really excite me uh, in any real way and the RP definitely doesn't excite me in any real way. And I'm not huge on full frame, So, but Fuji's, who does APS-C, I'm not excited about them. Uh, and they're like their exposure, it's weird. It just is weird. If I, you know, was showing you something, like at the light, it won't adjust. It'll be like chop, 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 chop. Looks really weird. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with Sony's menu system. So please, Canon, please. Help a sister out. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for today's vlog. And hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with me on the day. A little bit of office chats on the road. But other than that, guys, live with passion. I'll see you guys in the next video, vlog, or something like it, similar, whatever. 